let's just, let's move on now to to something that I'm I'm, I'm passionate about: graduate trainee uh, programs and undergraduate uh, student inter internship. What what uh, are the requirements? What are you looking for in these young people that are watching you right now, mm. wanting to 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 to, to join uh, First Capital Bank as uh, interns, yeah. uh, as graduate graduate trainees? What are you looking for? How many are you taking in a, in a year? Um, do you want to break that down for us? Sure. So maybe I have similar passion for, for that's the good. Year. That's <laughs> good. And uh, if you actually before I come to the to the question of graduate trainees, if you just look at what we do at First Capital in terms of our citizenship programs, in terms of our interventions uh, when we go out, uh, whether it's volunteerism by colleagues in the bank and so forth, we are targeting the youth. And we believe that it's one of the more impactful ways of also shaping our future as a society. So I've got two, two programs that we run which are really around you know the way that we recruit so when we recruit <coughs> everyone that comes into the into the bank well we don't discriminate by age and so forth but we also look at uh, the youth making sure that they're not disadvantaged ensuring that you know one of the criteria that tends to be looked at which is called experience is not necessarily becoming an, a disadvantage to those that are actually starting out their careers and what we've also said as a message even in our citizenship programs is there must be an attitude to say that as long as somebody has got work experience, which is not job experience, okay. uh, they, feel, they should feel confident that they can qualify to join the bank. Then we also have an internship program. This one is where we take students at universities in, in, in Zimbabwe or from abroad, and they want to come and have a year's experience, working experience as part of their program. So within that, we are on average, we take according to the cycles of the universities. But on average, we could have 25 at a time okay. that we bring in and across the disciplines. We also are very conscious to say if these people have gone through the internship with us, when we subsequently recruit, I think we also need to respect the fact that they have had experience within the bank mm -hmm. that stands them perhaps advantaged compared to other people mm. uh, that may not have had. Then the pure graduate trainee program, which is a, long, a longer program, we would take an average, you know, maybe 10 uh, at a time, and we have reduced that from about 15 because we were also looking at, you know, the evolution of the, of the bank in terms of how our target operating model is working. But we will be scaling that up now that the transition is almost, uh, is almost uh, complete. What are you looking for? Um, you, do you look at a CV? Do you look at attitude? What is it that you look for? Point number one. Mm -hmm. Point number two, what has been your, your experience? Have you been disappointed by some people that you've, you've taken? And what have been the learnings there? So <clears throat> we look at, um, yes, we do look at attitude. It's very important because we believe that attitude is what will actually make them succeed. But we also believe that a part of, especially within the internship program, part of the objectives of that program is to expose these so that they also develop and improve on their attitudes. So it has got to be a balanced um, uh, criteria. With the programs that we have run, I think we have learned quite a, quite a, quite a lot. Initially, when we started between the graduate training program and the internship, we tended to see certain universities um, or students from certain uni universities uh, being a bigger weight of the numbers. Uh, and when we interrogated that, we actually saw that it had something to do with how you know, the, the universities themselves were grooming um, their students. And we have shared feedback with some of the universities. And we have also learned from those universities to say how have they deliberately designed their programs because mm -hmm. there is different focus. Mm -hmm. The second thing which I think is actually more important that we also learned is to say that these youngsters are actually looking for a different type of a working environment. They want space where they come in and they feel that they can contribute. So they don't want to be confined too much. They actually want to come in maybe the first two, three months, they want to discover. And oftentimes, 
within the graduate training program, somebody comes and says, I want to join corporate banking, but within the first four months, they discover that their passion is more aligned elsewhere. And we have had to allow that space, you know, to be flexible, to say, if this is where you will prosper and we are better aligned, let's get you to explore your, yourself and your insight within that. So you accommodate that, that fluidity. We accommodate all of that. Okay. Yeah, in, in, the, in the program. And I think to, to, to credit to the universities, I think they've also started to reflect that. You know, in terms of how we we onboard when we when we engage with the universities and so forth. So, so to tell me the what feedback have you given the universities in terms of uh, what you found this their 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 output to be? Um, what have you found out and what have you given to the universities to work on? I think one of the key feedbacks was that whilst they are very strong in terms of core curriculum issues, uh, one of the pieces of feedback we have given is the total person how they, they present themselves, how they should feel confident to be interacting, the interpersonal skills, relating with people, communication. Uh, I think those are attributes that in a number of, in a significant number of the cases, you would actually see that there is no active program or attention to some of that. And uh, it has been received favorably.